One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com, and I got a really cool and unique video for you here today. Everybody keeps asking me, when are you going to do cars? When are you going to do cars? I got cars. That's all there is to it. This is a cool video. This is connected through Livewire Energy. Um, they've made it to where I'm able to um, interview and see some people who are quite interesting people and who have quite the list of things under their belt. These people are ballers, shot callers. I mean, this guy is many time race winner. And when you see this shop, you're gonna crap your pants. This is what a one on a car guy video is all about. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick look by of this on the way in. I'm filming for my new Sony, so hopefully that goes good. I might have some Google Glass video in or something, but there's your power stroke. Okay, here we go. Got anything from trophy trucks, UTVs, you name it. Great logo. You know what I'm saying? We have no issue today. And then that's more of it. I just... This is TJ Flores. TJ Flores, this is everybody. They'd say hi if they could. We all know Tony. Hey, everybody. And we're here at TJ Flores' place. This is all trophies you've got, huh? Yeah, this is all trophies. And These he... are all just like key trophies. I got more at home. These are all like ones that mean something to me that I've won over the years or like first overall race I've won overall and just championships. And Now, we was talking before I came in here and TJ was telling us a couple stories and I would just like to ask if I could put him on the spot and say, could you give us a quick little, not even quick, little, however long you want. Tell us a little bit about you. And it was just interesting. It was a cool story, man. Yeah, um, I don't know. I, you know, I pretty How'd much got into off-road racing by uh, just living in a tent, pretty much. When we were like 11, 12 years old, my dad was in jail, and my mom brought moved us to Vegas. And when we first moved to Vegas, didn't have much money, and we were out by Gene, Nevada, because she had a job out there. And uh, first race I seen was a Gold Coast 300. It was 91 or 92, I think 91, 1991. And me and my brother were 11, 12 years old. We walked over and watched the race and seen like Ivan Stewart, Walker Evans. Ivan Stewart. I mean, just the semis and everything when we were fell in love with it. And uh, from there I was hooked and figured out how to build a race car. And by the time I was 16, I started building my first race car and you know, just went from there and kept evolving. And like 1996, I think was the first uh, time I raced a car. So five years after, you know, and- uh, So for about 18 years now or so, huh? Uh, yeah. Wow. Time flies, don't oh, it? Oh, yeah. How old are you now? 37. 30, you're young. I'm 39. Time 37. flies. 37. So, that's the deal on that. That's part of the story, at least. And I'll tell you what, success story here. I mean, you started from, you put a number on it. I ain't going to say anything. You put a number on it. Yeah, I mean, we, we came from nothing to, I mean, realistically nothing. Just nothing. Yeah, exactly. You know, no parent backing. I mean, no, I mean, living in every ghetto in Las Vegas to, you know, just dreaming to go race cars. And. I, like I said, in 1996, I had my first race, and uh, a car passed me, and we were in a little Baja bug, and man, I was like, just wishing I could go, you know, ah, you know, I'd never get a chance to go race one of those cars, and then now that guy that, that was passing us is still a good friend of mine, and I'm the guy they look up to now, you know, so it's... You're passing him. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, and, you know, be able to know Walker Evans or Ivan Stewart now, you know, instead of just looking up and thinking they were a god back then. Can you tell us something about them cars on there? Yeah. Like, because I'm completely stupid on this stuff. I don't know nothing. But well, we pretty much work on every type of car that's here. This is a, a listing of classes that are in Besson Desert. So we can go from UTVs, or which are side-by-side, -side, all the way up to trophy trucks. Now, you said trucks. go from, so obviously this yeah. is entry level. Yeah, this is entry level. And that's that's the time. top. That's the, Ivan. That's what I'm racing now. Wow. You know, that's the top of the food chain. Did you have the video game? Do you have? Do oh, you? Yes. Not did in, you have. Do you have? 2007, I was in uh, Baja 1000, yes, in my class one car. I was like level seven of it. Do you have the old Ivan Stewart one? With the oh, no, I don't have that. I played it. You played the heck out of it, though, yeah, probably, yeah. huh? Well, wow, that's yeah. cool. So these these are pretty, until you get up yeah. here, they're pretty stock. Oh, well, yeah, this is like a Jeep extras. Speed would be like a, a, little, a slightly modified Jeep on the Jeep speed, and then you can go to a, a more modified Jeep, you know, and then it can go to like a sportsman truck. Where do we get like st uh, custom chassis? Where does that start at? Um, like it gets when you custom. start getting right here, ah, probably right here. This starts is, getting pretty custom. Starts getting more custom, and then when you get to 4400, which is an Ultra 4, King of the Hammer, like the rock crawler I have. That's what um, that is that we're going to look at That's what that is, an here? Ultra 4. 
And Which also, is, by the way, I'll say we're going to show something later. TJ has a bitchin' car. Probably not a car. What is it? It's a Ultra 4, you know. A bitchin' of, Ultra 4 for sale. There we yeah. go. That's what we'll call it. What it is. A yeah. King of Hammers is what they call it. Huh? King of the Hammers is like the big annual race once a year. Oh, it's gotcha. actually Ultra 4 is the series or the sanctioned body, but. Oh, that's sweet. And actually, the one that he's selling, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that's the trophy truck. That's yeah, the trophy Ultra truck. Oh, gotcha. But well, those are cars. I, that's this car. I've I won, seen this one on your I Facebook, I won seven too. championships in that car in class one. I think one. I've seen that one cruising on the picture oval oh. track type thing, too, or something. Or uh, dirt, dirt, I mean. Maybe. Dirt, like a dirt off-road type yeah, thing. Yeah, probably. I mean, we raced it for since You got a YouTube video somewhere. Oh, yeah, I got a lot of YouTube videos. And what is um, your Facebook to where people uh, can add you? tj.j.flores at Glorious. Hey, do you have a page for your uh, Champion to, Race Works? Champion Race Works. Works is the, you know, we have a Facebook page for that too. And then the, the website. website is www.championraceworks.com. Um, well, you're seeing all the trophies, and I kind of already got the okay and asked if TJ, I actually called him up and bugged him here and asked him, would you give us a tour and give us a little review of some of the cars? and wait until you see what's behind this door. This is freaking awesome. It's probably one of the coolest reviews I've had on my channel when it comes to cars. Wow. Actually, I didn't see coming in from this way. I did not see this car. That is a nice land. What year is that? That's a 1964 Toyota 64. Land Cruiser. Yeah, we're doing a LQ9 conversion on. I've, I've sent about two or three of these to Saudi Arabia now. They oh, really? love them over there. Oh, wow pretty desert yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're all about the sand and they put big old nissan they like these as the troopers or the nissan them old nissans patrol. you can't find the oh, patrols them are patrols. hard to find big horsepower this is pretty much like the first car i built it is oh really first car but that's what i built was a 5 1600 which is what that is but that's so uh, probably a lot of people start out with a bug chassis type thing yeah it's cheap and easy to do or uh or e i wouldn't say cheap any, nothing's cheap in this huh that's a fifty thousand dollar car anymore I mean, that's wow. just the parts are ridiculous. You know, we build chassis. We... Now, this, when you're done with it, is probably going to be kind of multi-use. It'll a go... Full free runner. Oh, really? It's not going to be on-road at all? Not on-road at all. And look at all the welding on the frame and stuff. That's just amazing. There's a lot of work I mean, done to this street truck. Legal. It'll, it'll be street, street legal. legal but, he doesn't but they're not going to use it for that stuff. No. You wouldn't do. want to anyways. It's got no interior and stuff, oh, basically, right? Oh, you're going to leave it all in there, huh? It's all full interior. Yeah, it's that's all, sweet, man. That's all full interior. That is sweet. You got a lot of roll cage in here, dude. Yeah. This is a customer at, at Lodi, California. That's sweet. So you're, you're building the chassis from the ground up? We do all, yeah. And that's what I want to make sure and push here on this finish, video. You know. Anything you need, fabrication, start to finish, like the man just said. That's the deal. Yeah, and, and that's my benefit is me racing and, you know, just the knowledge on the race cars because I feel, you know, I think that's what's up. Look, Look at this work. Look at these welds and everything. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. That Look at the welding on this. And the whole This truck was actually built in 1991. This was uh, the original kind of. Robbie Gordon trophy truck. It was built in 1991. It was actually uh, La Victoria it had on the side, Ford Ranger. But it was like the state of the art. Built with Mike Smith and I think Russ Wardemont built it. And then they just went the next year. TJ. We need to talk to leave this guy out of it. His wife, he's in trouble anyways. <laughs> what is this thing? That's a dry sump oil tank system. What does it do? That's where your motor oil sits, is in there. And it, there's a pump in the front of the motor. That, How many that's, quarts? That's two gallons of motor oil right there. And in the whole thing, including the motor? Probably almost three gallons of motor oil in this system. That's a lot. Oh, yeah. You probably $300 in oil right there. How much is she? Come on. What do you uh, think? They, they, not thing, that bad? Not too bad. Well, we're getting ready to upgrade to 4.5s. Then you'll you'll be $20,000 in shocks on the truck. What was you talking about in case I cut you off or something? Oh, we were talking about the this truck is actually was built in 1991. Or 91. 92. Yeah, this was like the bad boy of trophy trucks. Like one of the original real trophy trucks built. 
It was built for uh, Robbie Gordon. So how many divorces do you think you've caused? None. Come on now. None. Come on now, the wife has to get pissed when the guy keeps dumping money into this. That's their problem, I don't get involved. <laughs> oh, you haven't caused them, something else did. Yeah. The man not, the man not taking care of business there caused it. <laughs> okay, so man, you got, this is killer. I noticed on your frames there, Dude, you got an artist for a welder, man. That's looking nice. So that's some uh, nice welds, man. That's me. Is that you? Man, I'll tell you, that's some sick welds, man. You notice that kind of stuff. It's either oh, yeah. nice, clean, and tight, and beautiful like that is, or yeah. it looks like crap. Yeah. That's beautiful, man. Yeah. Well, we have to storage a lot of things too because people run out of money. And you end up sitting uh, yeah. on stuff for a while. I do classics and stuff, and I've done the paint. But it just happens. It just happens. Like, so you just build all, just build all. Like for that truck that was over there, that's all the arms we just build and then spindles. That's what I've been doing all day as well. A lot of TIG weld. That is neat. That's like we design it all in man. solid works, and then it's so nice now you have solid works. You can just design it all there and send it out, and it comes back all brand, bent. Don't you love how that looks with the welds? Oh, yeah. It's just a beautiful sight. Yeah. It just makes you think work's being done. Oh, know? there's so much. You've created, man, intricate. from nothing. I mean, yeah, these are from nothing. I mean, there's so much intricate pieces, too. Look at this, dude. Yeah. Woo! That is some beautiful work. Yeah. This ain't no joke. If now, you want some trucks like this. Here. You, I just did that right there. That's what was going on. He's there. a man, dude. Wow. It's amazing, huh? That's what I was just doing. It's not just regular welding. This is some nice. You do that's a lot of work. God, that's beautiful, man. I'm serious. Up. Yeah, there's, hmm. See, but you still used to see the employees that are welding, not the owner. When the owner welds, it's done right. When the employees are, it's not uh, maybe I done gotta right. I got to fix it. Well, the, here, here's my weld, and there's my employee's weld. <laughs> okay, let's show this up close. Okay. Employee's that's weld. weld. That's my weld. What a difference. And that's, you and end up what, fixing stuff. You got to teach them, you know. But you, they got to learn, exactly. Yeah, you you got to teach them. And they, you're not going to do every single part yourself no. for the rest of your life. You got to teach them. You got to teach them. I got a young guy that really wants to be involved and really... You know, works extra hours to just to learn, and you gotta let him have the opportunity to do it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it ain't gonna break it, it's staying pretty as mine. I, yeah, that's true. I, I let him go, then I come out, and I go, well, and he's like, oh, you're so mad. Now, this isn't this the one.